अरे ब्रो वी आर डेवलपर्स डेवलपर्स वी डोंट टेक केयर ऑफ दीज पेटे थिंग्स लाइक डाटा स्ट्रक्चर एलगोरिथम लॉजिक बिल्डिंग एंड स्टफ वी मेक रियल थिंग्स वर्क बिकॉज वी आर डेवलपर्स कुछ भी कुछ भी Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll discuss about what is the level of data structure algorithm you will require when you are going for development. Okay. So let us suppose we take a scenario of you joining a company. Okay, and you are on a project. So at that point, do you really need linked list, stack, queues, graph, trees, and you know different type of trees like BST and in that in the balancing like you know AVL trees and things like that? Do you really need these kind of thing when you are going for development? Okay, so you know there could be two extreme answers. One like, okay, so you need a very advanced knowledge of data data structure algorithm and design patterns and things like that when you start development. Okay, and the second thing is that you don't need anything. Uh, you know, you just write down these small few lines and you will be able to start making application. And both of these answers are right, but these are not optimized answers. These are not very correct answers in the sense of, you know, is it the path you should take? And why so? Because you know the learning should be comprehensive. Learning cannot be just by experience, and learning cannot be just by books. Okay. So when you're talking about learning from the fundamentals, learning the basic data structure algorithm, it is more toward you should know what can create more optimized things. Okay. But development generally more go you know you know go more in the uh, on the side of exploration because you know there are no specific books of you know doing a particular thing. You know if you try to go for you know i want to learn android let me just find the books for that okay so even though a few have tried that but it is not very very successful thing and because of that you will find that not a lot of android books not a lot of react books are out there because it doesn't make sense to really write a book in that domain okay because that will keep on changing you know it is a field of exploration but on the side of data structure algorithm you will find a lot of awesome awesome books and those are in the market from you know maybe 10 years 15 years and 20 years why because the content is generic and specific okay generic and specific both at the same time because it is more like that just learn these things these are some standard way of thinking about things and then you can proceed forward so the general the uh, you know the right mixture of these two things is very important and how exactly you go in that phase because you know if you start with data data structure algorithm and you you know just sprinkle the basic knowledge of that development parallelly to it what exactly will happen you will understand you know why i'm talking talking about you know starting with data structure algorithm and putting up basic development along the way so that first thing you need the fundamentals but at the same time when you you know keep on adding a little bit of development to it you will have the idea why you are learning these optimization what is the standardization people are talking about okay when i'm talking about the you know avl tree like self balancing tree so why it makes sense when will you have that kind of data except of your lead code or you know code forces solutions right code forces is expecting you to have that kind of data but why do production need right you know your application is deployed to production do production need really this kind of data and in what cases like when you are learning about graphs you have different representations you have edge list you have agency list you have agency matrix but why and when which implementation is beneficial okay so those kind of information can be very important right when you are talking about google maps can you really think about you know uh, i will create an agency matrix for implementing google maps okay especially about a smaller area of it because you know writing down the complete google map in the terms of graph will not be beneficial but you know when you are calculating and calibrating some local values generating them in their format of graph is much more beneficial okay so when you are talking about google maps and you are creating a you know uh, like matrix representation or graph representation for this so matrix representation is not that much efficient for it but when i'm saying this you can you know like take it to your heart but how exactly you understand it how exactly you decide which one is really beneficial which one to choose and why okay and are you going to really create your own algorithm and things for that maybe you will modify some standard things but if there are some standard way of doing these things 
so won't that be beneficial if people can could you know if people could con- communicate with that right like i'm saying that i will do this problem with you know i will solve this data uh, i will sort this data with approximately merge sort okay so when i'm saying this merge sort me you know i have some idea you know what exactly i'm doing with this you will have some idea what exactly i'm doing with this right you will not have to you know keep on reading every bit of my code to exactly understand what i'm doing okay so these terms might look like okay so these are just term and you know uh, i will learn them along the way but having some basic idea of these terms when you start learning to code can could really help you in the long way okay so that is my suggestion you know uh, have a good understanding of data algorithm uh, in the beginning but at the same time keep on adding the development part to it because that will provide you a bigger goal and bigger focus on you know why exactly you are doing why exactly you are learning the data algorithm that you are learning right now okay so see you in the next video bye